Norwegian Princess Martha Louise's engagement to American charlatan, Durek Verret, shocks the Norwegian royal house. The full story. The engagement. Princess Martha Louise has sparked controversy in her country, after announcing her engagement to Durek Verret, an American charlatan who calls himself a shaman or spiritual healer. According to his website, Verrett describes himself as a sixth-generation shaman, dedicated to serving global spiritual development, and redefining the meaning of wellness. He also offers a 30-day program to experience shamanic knowledge. Durek Verrett also runs his own podcast, and sells an item that he claims to enhance the soul, which is a small $222 medal that Verrett says, is imbued with frequencies and energies that relate to the spirit world and the physical world. He claimed that it was the reason for his recovery from the coronavirus. Some of Verrett's claims have also drawn criticism in Norway, including his claim that cancer is a personal choice. Verrett said in an official statement weeks ago, I know that some of the things I have said and done have been viewed as controversial in Norway, some have even argued that this has become a problem for the monarchy. It wasn't my intention, but it's important that I have autonomy in what I believe in. Princess Martha Louise shocks the royal house of Norway and abandons her duties. Princess Martha Louise, the only daughter of Norway's King Harald V and his wife, Queen Sonia, has continued to stir up more controversy since announcing her engagement to the American charlatan, by taking a decision to abandon her official duties. The royal house of Norway announced hours ago that, Princess Martha had chosen to write the next chapter of her private life, away from the spotlight and the Norwegian royal house, and focus on her business activities with her charlatan fiancé, Durek Verret, who calls himself a shaman or spiritual medium. The Royal Court of Norway issued an official statement announcing Princess Martha's decision, which said, Princess Martha wishes to relinquish her official duties, in order to create a clear line of demarcation between her business activities and her role as a member of the Norwegian royal family. According to the Royal Court statement, Princess Martha will not use her title in her commercial activities, and will not refer to members of the royal family through social media platforms, in media productions or in the context of commercial activities, except for her account on Instagram. The statement indicated that, Princess Martha will retain the title Princess, but will not use it in commercial activities. Princess Martha's recent business activities with her charlatan fiancé, Durek Verret, raised many questions in people's minds, whether the royal house should strip the princess of her royal title or not, just before she made her decision to give up her official duties yesterday. Now that the princess has chosen to live her life alongside her future husband on her own terms, she has decided not to work in the royal house, and will not sponsor any activities related to her organizations and associations. The princess said in a video posted on Instagram, after a period of many questions regarding me and the role of my fiancé, I have decided that for the time being, I will not be carrying out official duties for the royal family. She added, I take this decision in consultation with my parents, the king, and queen, in order to bring peace to the royal house. She also spoke about her sad heart by ending her sponsorship of some organizations, associations, and events. King Harold thanks his daughter, Princess Martha. In a press release, King Harold and Queen Sonia thanked their daughter, Martha Louise, for the work she did for the royal house, and said, she carried out the work with great care, warmth, and commitment. The press releases also confirmed that, the princess will retain her title in accordance with the wishes of the king, and the princess will also continue to serve as chairman of the board of directors of the Princess Martha Louise Fund.